Hi, welcome back to our channel. I'm Nash from The Nomadic People, and in this tutorial video, we're gonna show you how to transform an old, boring, square doorway into this, a beautiful arched doorway. I wish I could say I did this all by myself, but my dad was here to share his knowledge. He's an experienced contractor, been building houses for as long as I've been alive, and even longer. So if you want to be able to transform your doorway into this beautiful arch doorway, keep watching as we share in great detail how to build a beautiful arch doorway. So the first step after you've removed the door and door jam is to cut back the drywall using a utility knife about 1.5 inches on all three sides so that we can reveal the 2x4 underneath. Quick tip, just make sure that utility knife is nice and sharp when you're cutting the drywall. So to figure out how far down you need to cut the drywall, you're going to take the width of your door frame and divide it by 2. Then we'll add a couple inches for buffer. In our case, the width of the door frame was 30 inches, so we cut off about 17 inches down on the left and right side. Next, you will build the arch frame out of plywood. We used half inch plywood, and don't worry, all of the materials and tools that you need will be linked in the description below. So on that half inch sheet of plywood, we're gonna measure out a rectangle. Now the width will be the same width of your door frame, and the height will be half of the width of your door frame, plus about three quarter inch to an inch at the top. And this will give the arch thickness and allow enough room for the blocking of the arch. If you don't know what I mean by blocking, not to worry, I will explain this in a few more steps. Once you have your rectangle marked out on the plywood, you can find the center point along the bottom line of your rectangle and screw in a wood screw. Then hold your tape measure on the wood screw and mark out the radius of your circle with a series of tick marks. Again, the radius of the circle will be half of the width of your door frame. Next, cut a thin piece of wood measuring the radius of your circle. You will use this piece of wood similar to a compass. Place one end against the wood screw, then using a pencil on the other side, slowly connect all the tick marks you made on the plywood to create a half circle for your arch. Now comes the exciting part. It's time to cut out your first arch. Using a jigsaw, cut along the arch line from end to end. Then you can use a circular saw to cut out the rest of the arch from the plywood. Got the plywood arch cut out, looks great, fits great. So what you're gonna wanna do is repeat the steps from before to get that second arch cut out and ready to be put up. So let's talk about the initial blocking. Now the initial blocking will be cut and attached to the wood framing of the door. And then you will attach that arch to the initial blocking and voila, you're halfway there. Now you may be wondering how you figure out the size of your initial blocking. It is pretty straightforward. For the length, measure the width of your two x four framing, which is usually around 3.5 inches, and then subtract that from the thickness of your plywood on either side. As for the thickness of your blocking, this will be the same as whatever thickness you left at the top of your arch plywood frame. So we put some pretty big blocking on the left and right side just to give the plywood arch some stability. Now that your arch is up, looking fantastic I hope, it is time to cut the rest of your blocking and attach them in set increments between your two arches. So this is gonna be the same length and thickness as your initial blocking, but I would recommend cutting them to about a width of one inch. If you have a table saw and miter saw, this is gonna be a piece of cake. All you have to do is rip your piece of wood to the right length and thickness, then use the miter saw to chop the cross pieces to that one inch width. If you don't have these tools, not to worry. I linked a circular saw in the description below, and you can use that instead to rip your piece of wood to the right width and length. Okay, now comes the fun part. Attaching all the blocking 
in between the arch. I recommend using a pneumatic nail gun. If you don't have one, I linked one in the description below, and it's actually a two-in-one nail gun and staple gun because we're gonna use the staple gun later on in this tutorial. So we have a space of about three quarters of an inch between all of the blocking so that we can get a nice seamless look once we put up the drywall. All right, you're making great progress. So the next step is to measure out your space and this is gonna be to make that drywall arch. So just measure those two sides and the length and then on a piece of drywall, mark out that rectangle and you're gonna to wanna to make sure the thickness of the drywall is the same as the drywall that's already in your house. And then using a sharp utility knife, you're gonna cut just a small incision into the drywall. And the cool thing is, is once you have that small incision, you can just hit it and then use the knife once more to cut the backing. And voila. With drywall screws, you're gonna attach that piece of drywall to the two x four framing once more. And then once you're done with that, we're gonna cut out the arch. So using your plywood arch as a guide, you can take your drywall saw and cut along the arch so you can get that perfect half circle. Then repeat this step on the other side. Next, we're gonna cut a piece of drywall the same width of your door frame plus the drywall on both sides. And then we're gonna skin it all the way up and over to create that arch. So because drywall doesn't bend naturally, we have a little technique for you. Start by marking the back of your drywall in one inch increments. Then using a speed square and a sharp utility knife, score the back of the drywall. Then what you can do is break the drywall at those scores and that will give you a nice natural bend. So instead of making a drywall piece that spanned the whole arch, we decided to make two pieces that would join in the middle. Also, quick tip, before you start to hang the drywall, I recommend making tick marks to indicate where your blocking is. That way, when you go to hang the drywall, you know exactly where to shoot the nail. So with your nail gun, you're gonna wanna start at the top of the drywall and make your way down. It's important to keep pushing up so you don't get any bubbles in the drywall as you nail it in. And this step is easiest if you have two people. So grab your wife, friend, grandma, or whoever's in the house at the moment. It only takes a few minutes to get these pieces up. I hope you're admiring your work right now because dang, it is looking good. So the next step is to attach what is called flexible corner bead. You can usually find this at Home Depot, Lowe's, or maybe even your local hardware store if you're lucky. For us, we were only able to find one piece, so we ended up just cutting a regular piece of plastic corner bead to mimic the flexible corner bead. It's not really recommended, but it will work in a pinch. Just be careful when you cut it not to let it bend too much, otherwise you may end up with a crease. Now the easiest way to attach corner bead is with a staple gun. As you can see in the video, we started off using a bunch of these drywall nails. Now, it did work, but it took forever. Oh, it's good I'm not being paid by the nail. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm not being paid at all. <laughs> so instead, grab your two-in-one staple slash nail gun, and you're gonna thank me later because this is 20 times faster than the drywall nails. Hey guys, well, there you have it. We created a, created a nice archway. And I hope this video taught you something. When Kim told me she wanted to create an arch, we were like, oh, that's gonna be easy. But so glad my dad came out and shared his knowledge and helped us because that was definitely harder than I expected. So glad to have this video because I'm gonna be watching it too because Kim wants, I don't know how many more arches, but we'll see. <laughs> Um, anyway, if you guys were scared off by the number of power tools that we used in this video, don't worry, there are alternates that I'm going to be linking below for you. The first one is the jigsaw, which is, we used to actually create that plywood arch. Um, you saw it in the video already, 
And the second one we didn't use, um, but it's a skill saw, and that can help you to cut the two by fours as well as cut straight lines in the plywood. So check it out below. And also, as always, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Oh, and before I forget, be sure to check out our next video where we're gonna be taping the seams and hiding the corner bead and nails with some drywall mud called joint compound. And we're also gonna be uh, mudding the entire wall to prep for our wallpaper. We have sort of a textured wall, and so we're told we can't put wallpaper over the textured wall, so we're gonna have to mud it and then paint it. Uh, this is the first time mudding, for me, the entire wall, so we'll see what happens. <laughs>